Kids, in this video, we would learn to write JSON path expression to access notes of a JSON dictionary, also called as JSON object. Like I explained in the previous video, a dictionary starts with opening curly bracket and ends with closing curly bracket. Now it is written as name value pairs. A name value pair consists of a field name in double quotes followed by a colon followed by a value. Keys must be strings and the values must be of type string, number, object, array, boolean or null. So the agenda of this video is on to your screen. We would cover JSON path notations. Now there are two type of notations dot and bracket. Now since we have got multiple options when to use bracket notation then we'll do a roundup of dot versus bracket and finally we are going to see how to access the nested JSON dictionary elements. Now a JSON path expression specifies a path to an element or a set of elements in a JSON structure. JSON path uses special notation to select the specified property in a parent object. Now as I mentioned earlier there are two styles of notation dot and bracket. To select the first name node from this given JSON dictionary we can write dollar which represents the root element dot is the notation and then the name of the property okay and then your property is first name so we say dollar dot first name this is your dot notation then you can also say dollar you have the square brackets inside that you mention the property and make sure that you wrap that inside the single quote okay and then this becomes your square bracket notation now both of these parts dollar dot first name and dollar then square bracket of the property enclosed within the single code refer to the same first name node within this dictionary let's do a hands-on open the following website in the browser and mention our person dictionary in the json data url section in the json path expression let's give a try to both dot and bracket notation so we say dollar and hit the process button and you immediately see the evaluation result. Important thing to notice is the output of JSON path expression is always an array. Okay. Whether the query string returns single or multiple data sets, it will always be intact inside an array. So let's cancel this. Come back to the JSON path expression field. Let's start with the dot notation. Okay, so we say dollar dot. So dollar followed by dot offers us an opportunity to select any of these properties attached to the current parent object. This is my root element and this is my current parent object. Okay, since we require the first name property, we say dollar dot first name and let us click on this process button again and now you see John okay that's the value of first name great so now replace this dot with opening and closing square bracket like this mention the property name inside these brackets okay and the last step is you have to be sure to put single quotes around the property name okay so let's do that let's enclose this property name inside the single quotes and click on the process button there you go we get the same result back all right so when to use bracket notation over the dot notation as a rule of thumb, use bracket notation if the property name contains special characters such as spaces or begins with a character other than number one, uppercase A to Z, number two, lowercase A to Z, and number three is underscore. So let's see that in action. In this dictionary, there is a space between first and name words in this property. Now, dollar dot first space name throws an exception as you could see but the bracket notation okay let's follow the syntax 
hit the process button and there you go guys it works like a charm one important point is not all json path online evaluators out there work the same way no need to be distracted by that just remember the rule of thumb Use bracket notation if the property name contains special characters such as spaces or begins with a character other than, again, number one, uppercase A to Z, number two, lowercase A to Z, and number three is underscore. So guys, dot versus bracket roundup would be, number one, dot notation is faster to write and clearer to read, and number two, Square bracket notation allows access to properties containing special characters. So if you understand what I have covered so far, then working with nested dictionary would be a piece of cake for you. A dictionary inside a dictionary is called as nested dictionary. Here is a possible representation of nested dictionary. Now root node is a dictionary which contains a property QA which again is a dictionary and this further contains a property address that too is again a dictionary. Okay, so let's fetch the country value from the address dictionary. All right, let's move on to our JSON path evaluator. And this time there is one more that we can use jsonpath.com and guys here is the nested dictionary. So we always start with the root element, which is denoted by the dollar symbol. Okay. When you say dollar, okay, immediately you see the outcome of it. Okay. You have to access this property. So you say dot QA and now you see it is filtered down. So now you see this particular data, of course. Okay. Then you need to access address. So you say dot address there you go so now we have this information what do we want we want country so again we say dot country and there you go so this is how we design json path queries or expressions and access properties from a json dictionary that's all from this video feel free to join me in the next video thanks for watching